Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will be working with one router, R1, and one PC, PC1. We will use PC1 to connect to the console port of R1 and perform configurations from there. We will also set up a password to protect connections from the console port of R1. Try to complete the lab on your own first, and continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it afterwards to check your solution. Step 1 is to connect PC1's RS-232 port to R1's console port. Click on Connections in the bottom left corner of the screen. This is the console cable, as indicated at the bottom of the screen. Connect it to the RS-232 port of PC1, and then to the console port of R1. That's step 1. Step 2 is to use the console connection to configure the hostname of R1 from PC1. To do so, click on PC1, click on Desktop, select Terminal, and then select OK to accept the default configurations. We're now connected to R1 via PC1 and can perform configurations as usual. Now we have to change the host name of the router to R1, as we've done before in previous labs. Enable to enter privileged exec mode. Conf T to enter global configuration mode. Hostname R1. That's it for step two. Step 3 is to set the enable secret of R1 to Cisco. If you remember, the enable secret is a password that protects privileged exec mode and is encrypted by default. It's configured from global configuration mode, which we are already in. Enable secret Cisco. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4 is to set the console password of R1 to CCNA. We also have to ensure that it is required to connect to R1 via the console port. To do so, we have to enter line configuration mode for the console port. That is done with the command line console 0 from global configuration mode. The 0 refers to the number of the port, and since there is only one console port, there is only line console 0. There is no line console 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. From here, we set the password to CCNA with a very simple command, password CCNA. Now let's try out our password. I'll use the end command to return to privileged exec mode and then exit to quit the connection. But I'm not asked for a password. If I type enable, I have to use the password Cisco to access privileged exec mode. But why wasn't I asked to use the password CCNA to connect to the console port again. This is because we missed one other command in line configuration mode. Let's return there once more. Conf T, line con zero. Now we have to use the command login to tell the router that the password must be used to connect to the console. Let's try again. End, exit, and there we go. Now we are asked for the console password of CCNA. Now finally, let's check the running configuration for the password and see if it's encrypted. Enable, password Cisco, show run. The line section is at the bottom of the running config, so I'll tap the spacebar a few times to scroll down. There it is, line con zero, password CCNA. As you can see, it is not encrypted. That's all for step four. Step 5 is to enable password encryption to protect this console password. Conf T to enter global configuration mode, then the same command as before, service password encryption. Let's drop back to privileged exec mode and then use show run to confirm. Scroll down to the bottom and you can see the password is now encrypted. Finally, let's save the configuration. Let's use the copy running config startup config command, shortened to copy run start. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. 
Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.